We have seen them fall off the bone, tender, succulent, juicy, and moist pork ribs. When these are on sale, they can make a great meal. I'm your personal chef, Mike Moses. Today, I'll show you how to make oven roasted ribs right now. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the thumbs up icon, and if you like more of these, please subscribe. Spare ribs, also called side ribs, are a variety of pork ribs cooked and eaten in various cuisines around the world. In the 1800s, barbecued ribs originated in the U.S. And if you want to start a civil culinary war, just say Kentucky or Carolina or Virginia ribs are the best. For me, it doesn't matter. They're all fantastic eats. Here's what we'll need. About five pounds of pork ribs, an oven roaster with a cover, disposable gloves, for the rub, about one cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of chipotle pepper, one tablespoon of ground black pepper, one tablespoon of kosher salt. For the barbecue sauce, one half cup of ketchup, one half cup of brown sugar, one quarter cup of soya sauce, two tablespoons of whole grain mustard, one quarter cup of Worcester sauce, one quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of granulated garlic, two tablespoons of apple juice, two tablespoons of orange juice, and some salt and pepper. Now that we have everything ready, it's time to cook. The ribs will need some trimming before we put them in the oven. First, cut them into manageable portions of about six or eight ribs. Trim off the excess fat, mostly the big layers, leave some for the cooking process. Then we need to get rid of the silver skin on the back of the ribs. This layer does not break down well in the cooking process and can make it hard to eat. Preheat your oven to 300 degrees. Now, to measure out our rub, I do this on a parchment paper to make putting in the bowl easier. Measure out the brown sugar, garlic, onion, kosher salt, and black pepper. Then dump the ingredients in a bowl and mix up with your hands. This is the fun part. Rub your mixture on all the ribs, both sides and on the ends. Your rub should be everywhere on the meat. With the rub on all of your meat, layer in your roaster with some space between each rib. Time to cover the roaster and get these in the oven. They'll cook for about three hours for fall off the bone tender. While the ribs are roasting, let's make the barbecue sauce. Put the ingredients in a bowl. Ketchup, soy sauce, mustard, Worcester sauce, garlic powder, brown sugar, orange and apple juices, and whisk. Now you have a great sweet barbecue sauce for your ribs. Here's where it gets personal. Some like their ribs wet, dry, cooked in barbecue sauce, sauce on the side. It's a very personal preference. All I know is that you will need some paper towels because eating these can get messy. For demonstration purposes, let's brush some barbecue sauce on the ribs, then back in the oven at 250 degrees for about a half an hour. Now you have fall off the bone, tender, succulent, juicy, and moist pork ribs. I was going to have a presentation to show you, but my family couldn't wait. If you like this recipe, please leave a comment and a like. And if you'd like to see a particular recipe or topic, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be putting new content on this site weekly. And if you want more information, you can head over to the personalchef.blog where you can print the recipes presented here and I add new content every other day. Thank you for watching. I look forward to helping you eat healthier, shop smarter, and cook better.